So now let's see how we can use indentation in Python. So in other programming languages, the conventional programming languages like C, C++, Java, C Sharp and even many other languages, if you want to indicate a block of code, so we usually use a curly braces to indicate a block of statement. So consider this example of a, a C code where we have a main function and we have curly braces basically to indicate that it's a block of statements. And here you can observe that I'm going to have certain statements in that block. So the statement started here and if you observe, so I'm writing the statements in a zigzag manner and some other statements in some other column. So all these statements, even though they are residing in the same block itself, so they can start anywhere. So some are starting here and some are starting here and some are starting there, right? So they are not uniformly indented. And it is always a good practice to follow the same kind of indentation to indicate that all these statements are uh, residing in the same block. So though we insist the programmers to follow that, beginners, it's very difficult for them to follow this kind of indentation. So and it leads to many unnecessary errors in the program. So both logical and the syntactical errors because of these kind of improper indentation inside the single block itself. So to avoid that, that kind of syntactical and logical errors by the programmers, both syntactical and the logical errors, Python designates a block of statements via uniform indentation. So what this indentation is? Indentation basically refers to the spaces that are left at the beginning of the statement itself. So if you observe here, I'm writing two statements or two sets of statements and uh, the first statement is starting at uh, a specific column and the second statement set of statements are started after leaving certain spaces right and usually so whenever we leave these kind of spaces and that indicates that indentation okay and usually with different indentations means the statements that are following different indentations means they are designating different blocks the first set of statements are in the comes under the first block whereas the second set of statements are in the second code block as they are not in the uniform indentation so that's how whenever you have you see different indentations then you can understand that there is a different code block and in python indentation is made it as a mandatory and you cannot escape from that thereby you cannot you can avoid some kind of uh, errors so consider this example here i have two different set of statements as they are following the same indentation they constitute the same block itself so on seeing the indentation itself i can understand very well that so these set of statements are at the same level and uh, so every code block starts with, with the indentation and whenever the indentation is closed then there ends the block itself. So indentation means there is a block that is going to be started and whenever it's unindented the statements unindented means uh, so the code block is going to close that's how you can use the indentation to designate the code blocks. So here you can understand that a new code block is introduced by giving the indentation so block 2 is inside the block 1 so that it's having the uniform indentation so see all the statements that are inside this block 1 which constitute the block 2 so they have the uniform indentation so now consider this code snippets which are designating three different uh, code blocks so block 1 is following the same indentation whereas block 2 is also following the same indentation and similarly block 3 is also following the same kind of indentation. So that's how Python mandates the indentation in the programming language to avoid certain kind of errors. So here in this example you can see so at the outer block all the statements are starting at the same line and then if else if else, if else they constitute the same block so they are in the same uh, column and similarly return A so that itself indicates a different block return B indicates another block return C so that single statement itself indicates another block and whenever you have different blocks and they need not to follow in the same block itself so return A return B return C they are in different blocks so they need not to follow the uniform indentation and they can have their own indentation 
So that's how we can use indentation to avoid some kind of syntactical and logical errors in the programming and it is a good practice to follow indentation in any programming language. Thank you, thank you for watching this video.